Now, quick question about like melody or, you know, some people, especially people uh, which I don't advise guys, a lot of us memorize, especially in the beginning with, in our head, right? Like we don't read it with someone else. We're just go mm -hmm. like, did she call you today? Did she call you today? Did she call you today? And, and <laughs> it's like this, you know, mind fuck that we're going through. And, and, uh, and, and some people, they get locked into that melody, the, the melody, and that's mm -hmm. how they memorize. Do you suggest that or because like, you know, and as an, for actors, I feel it could be very bad because then, you know, the reader gives you something else and you locked into this melody and it doesn't, you know, it's just going to be like, a, you, you're doing this on your own. You're not really connecting, but then does it help memorization and do you incorporate any of that? Rhythm? Right. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, what, what you're saying with the getting into a groove like where you're you're saying the lines the same way every time it can get, yeah. really get you locked in yeah. um so that that sort of goes with um the state dependent learning principle i think where if you practice it the same exact way over and over again it's going to get locked your memory is going to get locked to that delivery right. so I think it like you said I think it's important to mix things up so that you you have more flexibility and so that you aren't you aren't going to get thrown if you get a different line or something or if you get something different from your reader you get a redirect and that's where people just like mess up their lines all the time because they're so used to this one delivery right exactly exactly so yeah I I think it's important to um play with different versions of or different interpretations or different ways of delivering your lines to to keep yourself flexible um however i would say you know you're talking about melody and kind of a rhythm and things like that i think there is insight that you can gain from noticing that in a script because sometimes there is a rhythm there Mm -hmm. There is something there that the that the writer wrote. And, the, you know, this is especially the case with, you know, certain stylistic writers. Like if you think about like David Mamet or Aaron Sorkin, where they, they, they got a they got a patter going on and there is some sort of um, rhythmic emphasis that they're using as an effect. Same with Shakespeare, actually. This is, um, you know, he, he the, the verse rhythm is very important to the actual meaning of the script, uh, of the text. And so I think it is good to, to notice those things and to use them in your, um, in your interpretation, you know, cause they can, those th those are clues. Those are clues that can inform your character, can inform your intentions and things like that. And tapping into that can also be helpful for memorization. But I do think, like you said, you don't want to get locked into like, it's always this way. Um, yeah, yeah it, it, it's something to notice, but to play with, I would I say. It, yeah, it, so understand, yeah, so understand the melody, the tone, you know, um, the writing of it, but don't get locked into one way of, of delivering it. 